hello friends welcome back to learning points so in this video i am going to show you how to use the full stack application that is how to use laravel as the backend and angular as a front end so i'm just going to sign up process with the jwt authentication and here if i just submit these things we are getting unauthorized so why the unauthorized because laravel cannot provide access for from from the outside so how to solve this so basically this is the course problem so let's make a middleware for to solve this problem so just go inside the back end so in back end there is a laravel and in the front end we have a angular so it's running accordingly that is the angular running and it's laravel running so let's create a middleware to solve the course problem so simply write php artisan make middleware right so m i d d l e w a r let's make middleware and the middleware name is course right so by clicking on this you can see a new middleware is created so let's remove this now and okay this is required and if i just go inside the middleware section so we are getting the course middleware actually we need to set some header here so we need to add some permission we need to add some access so i'm just taking the all the headers here i'm just explaining you that is the access control allow methods so if i just want to call the apis or uh, you can access the gate post patch pull delete options so all the methods and the origin start that means all kind of origin will accept and the important things that is the access control allow headers is the origin and the content type x authentication token also authorization accept cache set boundary and content link so this will provide in the description section so you will find these things from there let's use this inside here so just tap here also this step here so when we'll call these things so basically it will check this header and will return the request right so course are set up basically the purpose of this course material is to access this header now let's use this course inside all our application so just configure this so just go to the kernel.php and let's add this middleware so simple just call this thing so i'm just removing the fruitcake i don't need these things and let's use these things actually we'll get the path of the app http middleware and the name of the middleware is course that is the class name okay so this is the middleware section and we need to use these things into the route middleware also so let's copy this path that is app http middleware course and just go to the route middleware and let's use course and just put the provider so app http middleware course right so all our setup now just request this again so just go to the browser again just if you click on this so still we are getting unauthorized so just go to the visual studio code and let's check the authentication controller so here inside the constructor we are adding this middleware so just submit this again now the thing the error is unprocessable something is unprocessable that means something error so just go into the sign up section and let's print the request value let's check whether the requests are actually coming or not okay so now click on this again and just go to the network and yes this is the status code 200 that is sign up okay we are getting the value from front end that means from the angular side we are getting into the laravel let's process this data into the laravel side okay so actually we can see there is password confirmation but we have not added these things 
so let's add password confirmation and it will also be required and it should be the same as the password okay so just add this same password okay so as we are adding this password confirmation but if we just go into the database we don't have this password confirmation section so if i just use this then it will try to insert the password confirmation into the password confirmation field so let's accept this thing so let's restrict this thing so how we can restrict so use some accept functions and from the accept function i'm just passing these things right now let's see what happened so if you just go again and let's submit this okay so another error so the given data was invalid that means this is the laravel error that what we are just going to expect right the password confirmation is problem so the given data was invalid and the password confirmation and password don't matching so let's use this here and you can see okay so let's add these things one two three four five six and again one two three four five six right and if i just click on these and let's submit these things then it is 200 status okay i think these are just inserted so if we just go into the database and click on browse nice these are inserted into our application right so one thing the password is not encrypted and the another things i want to see the error message so suppose if i enter the wrong email id that is not a correct format so here we can see the error but i want to see this error into here so how we can we do this right so just go to the visual studio code again and we are getting response from the sign in component dot ts now we can set the error so here this is the error and it's any type and we are getting this errors message into here so this is the errors message and let's print this into the html file so simple just go sign up component dot html file and i want to display the errors here right so how you can display simple just right here another div so, so just create a new div and here the div will be the alert so simply just write class and this is alert and as it is a error message so i am using the alert danger right and inside here i can print that is error name so for name there is error dot name actually this error is a typescript property so here you can see this is the error we have defined and also we are using this error and pushing this into here so we can use this error dot name and all time this error will not show so first we'll check if there is any error in name then only it will display so let's use the hidden and just write colon error E -R -R -O -R, error dot name okay so just copy these things for every case so for email and password and also for password confirmation so just write in this way error dot password confirmation and for password just use this sorry just copy this password and paste it here also for email so just and also for email so just copy this and paste it here and let's see what happens so just go here and let's add some name that is john and john at the rate email dot com and the password is one two three 
one two three four five so let's see what happens so just click on submit so here you can see the password confirmation and password not matches and if you just change the email just making the wrong email intentionally so just click on submit also the message is showing okay so let's cool things so just to refresh these things again and let's enter john john at the rate email dot com and password one two three four five six okay one two three four five six and one two three four five six and let's submit this so we can see into the database uh, another record is added right and the last things that is the password so here you can see the password is one two three four five that is the raw password so i want to decrypt this password when inserting data so simple level things so now just go inside the back end so this is the auth controller and we are using the models that is user.php so here i am just creating one functions that is public function and the function name is set password attributes okay and just use the value so write dollar value here and just return this attribute return dollar this attributes a t t r i b u t is attributes sorry spelling mistake equal to the sorry attributes the, this is the password so right here password equal to the bcrypt formatted password so bcrypt and the password will be which we are just getting from the parameters so right here value and let's go inside the chrome and let's refresh this so here my name is shomo and right here shomo at the rate email dot com and password one two three four five six and one two three four five six and let's click on submit so now just go here and you can see the new user is added and the password is encrypted format right so the registration section is done so we need to do the login process so we'll do the login process in our upcoming video so please keep in touch and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section thanks for watching this video have a good day